When considering coating concrete, there are three very important inspection checkpoints that should be addressed. These are the moisture content of the concrete, the surface cleanliness and roughness of the concrete, and the thickness of the coating applied to the concrete. We have separate modules for each of these three inspection points. This module addresses surface cleanliness and roughness of the concrete. Most manufacturers of coatings for concrete require the surface to be cleaned and roughened prior to the application of their coating system. The surface area of the concrete is effectively increased by the roughening process, which in turn improves the adhesion of the coating system to the concrete. There are a number of standards that address the preparation of concrete. ASTM D4258 briefly describes methods of cleaning that will remove surface contaminants such as grease, dirt, and loose material, but it won't remove coatings. These methods are used in conjunction with other coating removal methods to assure that the surface is free of contamination prior to painting. The methods in this standard are broom cleaning, vacuum cleaning, air blast cleaning, water cleaning, detergent cleaning, and steam cleaning. ASTM D4259 addresses methods for removing material, including coatings, and for roughening the surface. The methods addressed in this standard include mechanical abrading, which involves power tools, both impact and grinding types. The power tools are capable of removing the coating, but they're better suited for localized use. The impact tools can also cause damage to the substrate. Water blast cleaning is included. This involves high pressure water blasting, but the pressures are not defined. Given adequate pressure and dwell time, coatings can be removed by these methods. Abrasive blast cleaning, which includes dry blasting, wet blasting, and the self-contained apparatus that reuses the abrasive are also addressed. These methods will remove the coating, but can significantly roughen the substrate in the process. ASDM D4260 addresses the preparation of bare concrete by acid etching, but it will not remove existing coatings. ASTM D4261 addresses the same surface cleaning methods that are covered in D4258, but in addition it adds mechanical tool cleaning for the removal of mortar spatter and efflorescence. The standard is not used for the removal of existing coatings. SSPC 13, NACE 6, is closer to a guidance document than a standard because it describes methods that are available for cleaning a variety of concrete surfaces, but it doesn't dictate that a given method should be used, nor does it provide explicit acceptance criteria. It references other ASTM and NACE standards. The methods of preparation include dry abrasive blast cleaning, wet abrasive blast cleaning, vacuum assisted abrasive blast cleaning, and centrifugal shot blast cleaning with references in it to D4259. It also addresses high pressure water cleaning or water jetting per SP12. Note that SP12 has been replaced with other SSPC documents, WJ1 through WJ4. These methods remove poorly adherent coating, allowing intact coating to remain or completely remove the existing coating, given that adequate pressures and dwell times are used. Impact power tools, according to ASTM D4259, include needle gunning, rotary peening, which removes the coating but may fracture and remove the concrete at the same time. It addresses power grinding, sanding, and wire brushing, according to ASTM D4259. While coatings can be completely removed by grinding or sanding, these methods are more commonly used for the removal of loose coating and for feathering edges. Acid etching, according to ASTM D4260, is used on horizontal surfaces to etch bare concrete, but it will not remove existing coating. Also addresses flame or thermal cleaning, which is used to extract organic contaminants from concrete, but it's not suggested for coating removal. Methods used for cleaning contaminants from the surface prior to painting are also addressed. The methods include vacuum cleaning, air blast cleaning, water cleaning, detergent water cleaning, and steam cleaning, all according to ASTM D. 4258. The roughness of the concrete can be evaluated using various methods. Some specifications simply state that the prepared concrete should be roughened to a degree similar of that to a medium grade sandpaper. The International Concrete Repair Institute, or ICRI, has a standard 310.2 that addresses different degrees of cleaning.
from acid etching through heavy scarification of the surface. Icry has also produced nine distinct concrete surface profile, or CSP, textures that can be created by the various methods of cleaning. The textures are reproduced in the form of rubber coupons that can be compared with the surface. Each profile coupon carries a CSP number ranging from 1, which is minimal roughness, to 9, which is a very rough surface. The 9 degrees of roughness include CSP 1 for acid etching, 2 represents grinding, 3 light shot blast, 4 light scarification, 5 a medium shot blast, 6 medium scarification, 7 heavy abrasive blast, 8 scabbling, and 9 heavy scarification. If it's desired to have a permanent record of the roughness of the concrete, a replica of the surface texture can also be created using an epoxy based putty described in ASTM D7682. There are two methods described in the standard. For method A, the epoxy replica putty is used to obtain a replica coupon of the surface. That coupon is then visually compared with one of the nine ICRI CSP coupons or to a job site standard. For the second method, the replica coupon that's created is measured using a specially designed micrometer to obtain a quantitative indication of the surface roughness. And that's all there is to it. Log on to ktauniversity.com for more information on concrete assessments and other subjects.